So if you're new here, my name is Tarek. I've been both a full-time leather artisan and custom knife maker for many years. My work in both genres has gone around the world. And on this channel, I'm wanting to share the little tips, tricks, and success principles that have helped me along the way and will hopefully help you along your artisan journey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking more about the new little blade from Charter Made. Let me show you how it works. get one of these blades from us there's gonna be a couple of things you're going to notice the one is the charter made logo has been hand engraved on by Charlene so if you didn't know charter made stands for Charlene and Terek the other thing what you're going to notice is this blade has got a bit of a patina going to the steel and that's because I've used d2 steel over here this is a very very hard steel it holds an edge like crazy um, which I'm going to show you now so I have coated these blades with oil this is a, a surface level um, oxidization of the steel. So that's what that is over there. So don't worry about it in other words. So just to show you how this little blade cuts now, I've got a couple of pieces of leather over here. I'm gonna start with a very thick piece. This, this knife is obviously not designed for this kind of work guys, but I just wanna show you what this does. This piece of leather is just over five millimeters thick. So it's quite a thick chunk of vegetable tanned leather. I'm not sure. let's see what it does. I'm just going to try and cut through it over here. And it obviously cuts through five mils thick of leather quite easy. I'll do another cut for you. As I said, this knife is, well, before the charter made version of this knife, it wasn't really designed to do this. Um, I have cut out multiple knife sheaths with this little blade though. So it does the job on five mil thick leather. While that's going, obviously the the next piece of leather that I'm gonna do here is 2.5 mil thick. Well, there is 2.44, so 2.5 mil thick leather. This is a vegetable tan leather again. Done nothing to this edge after cutting through five mil thick leather. And it, it cuts through that like, really like nothing, it's like butter. So there I'll just cut. I'm just gonna keep on cutting over here just so you guys can see what this little blade can achieve. As I said, I never used one of these before in my own leather work. But I do know because I also make these high-end custom knives that a blade like this needs to perform tremendously well. And I'm happy with the result of that. So obviously I can just keep on cutting. That is 0.9 more thick, somewhere around there. 0.8 more thick goat skin. And bear in mind, I haven't stropped this blade yet. I haven't done anything. So, I mean, this little blade, I've done a lot of cutting with it, a lot of testing before. I've obviously released it to the other artisans that are on the, out there looking for one. I wanted to make sure that this little blade does an amazing job for you guys. And I'm pretty impressed with the, res the results that I'm getting with it. So I really hope that you are too. So all I can do is really just show you the performance of this blade. And you can see I, ha I haven't stropped this thing. I haven't done anything. What I'm gonna do is yeah, now, I just wanna show you on my arm here. We've cut, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually shave some of my arm here over here. So we've cut five more thick leather. We've cut 2.5 more thick leather. We've cut some goat skin. We've cut, we've cut a lot of leather here. I mean, there's a lot of leather that's been cut for such a small little blade. And that little blade will still, I'm still shaving with it. So we've cut a bit of leather. We've cut five more thick leather, 2.5 more thick leather, one more thick leather. We've got a whole pile of it over here. I've just shaved my arm hair off. So this, this knife blade is still razor sharp. But something that I like to do is keep a strop next to my workbench whenever I'm working because I prefer to maintain an edge rather than rework it on stones. So just by having a simple strop next to you, uh, you can, after a session of cutting, just pull that blade down on your strop, just several times down on your strop. And what that's gonna do is, oh, 
that thing is so sharp. Um, it's just gonna lay the edge back to a perfect apex. So maintaining an edge is much easier than uh, um, resharpening an edge. So I, I strop constantly while I'm busy on any leather project. Um, so I keep a little strop next to you. I just use a polishing compound. I use the finest, finest compound uh, you can get. So I use a polishing compound on a piece of bridal hide, um, which is just a vegetable tan what leather. What I'm gonna do is now, I am gonna show you how to sharpen this blade if and when it does go blunt. So it might happen from dropping the blade or um, I'm gonna just show you a quick technique of how to keep that blade and get it back to a razor sharp blade. What I'm gonna be doing is using a piece of 1200 grit sandpaper. Um, I'm gonna be doing it on my piece of marble. If you're gonna be using my technique, just remember to do it on a piece of marble, granite or glass. It makes for a nice flat surface. You can obviously, if you have got sharpening stones, do it on your sharpening stones. So I'm just gonna contact the adhesive that down onto the stone. So I've just removed the blade from the little handle holder. I've got the piece of 1200 grit sandpaper on and just wetting it. Now what you can do is, this is a very, very easy way to know where you're going with your edge. Mark it with a Sharpie. So just mark that edge with a Sharpie so that you know that you're keeping on the angle of the edge. Now guys, something else that you'll notice is I do not have an edge on both sides of this knife. I've done a chisel grind. This has come with obviously loads of testing for edge retention, cutting all types of leather, um, performance. Every detail that has gone into this blade has come with a lot of testing. So this knife, or this little blade I should say, uh, performs how I want it to perform in a blade. Um, so it has got a single bevel on it, so it'll come in right-handed versions and left-handed versions. So if you are left-handed, do the same instructions, obviously just the opposite way around. So I've got the Sharpie on there, and all I'm gonna do is now, is that I'm gonna start pushing that up onto onto that edge. And there you can see that Sharpie has 100% come off of that blade. Now when that Sharpie has come all the way off, you know you've obviously got the right angle at that time, so that's what's important about that. But the same with any type of sharpening. When you are sharpening, what you're trying to do and trying to achieve is to bring a slight burr over the edge. So what I'm gonna be feeling for now is that slightest, slightest little burr. And what that means is that you've got a slight raised edge that you can feel in your fingertips. The slightest, slightest little raised edge. And if it's not quite there, just keep on going until you get it. So all you're doing is trying to create that, that burr. And what I like to do is once I've got that burr, so now I can feel that that little burr has come, which means that edge has come all the way to its apex again, I will pull it back several times but without pushing forward. So I'll just put it back on that piece of sandpaper. And what that does is it just, it softens off that burr. So that when I put it back onto the strop, the whole process is just that much easier. So at that point, back into the handle holder. Oh, actually, no, let me just drop it while it's on here. You... So what I've done is I've pulled it several times on the face that we've just sharpened, the opposite side, which is obviously flat. I'll pull it back, holding it just flat on that edge. Now guys, something to remember when you are using a strop on any knife and including this little blade over here, you're gonna strop at a lower angle than what you sharpened at because leather compresses, so it pulls itself around the edge. So I want you to just imagine this is hard, it stays flat and level. When you're on a strop on a piece of leather, the leather actually curves itself around. So when you hold it at a slightly lower angle, it's touching all parts of that edge without, oh no, hair's left on my arm from doing, look at that guy, it's just it's popping off of my arm. And your blade will arrive to you like this. I've hand sharpened every one of these blades. So when you get one of my blades, this is how it will arrive. Okay, I wanna keep some arm hair over here. <laughs> Quick little test, I wanna show you the edge retention of this blade that I've made. So I've got the five mil thick vegetable tan leather. That's obviously not what this little blade is designed for, but I'm gonna show you how this 
the edge retention of this blade. So I'm just going to cut multiple strips of this far more thick vegetable tan leather without cutting my finger. So that was a whole piece of five more thick vegetable tan leather and I'm still just shaving through that paper. And over the years I've had so many people say that the charter made knives are more than razor sharp. So I hope that this one lives up to that same expectation. I am really impressed with this though. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video of the performance test of this new little blade. So if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be adding a lot more content to this channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.